living with Betty and I'm a character medical student. Can I get your name and date of birth, please? Um, my name's Benjamin. I was born 3rd December 1995. Hello, Benjamin. So I've been asked to do a cardiovascular exam on this day. So this will just involve you having a rubber sheet on the end of the bed and then having your hands and your face and having a feel of wrist above your chest. Is this okay? Yep. Great. So, um, to start, can you take off your shirt for me and lie down on the bed? Okay. For inspection, there are no adjuncts around the bed. The patient must have good nutritional status. There is no discoloration. Um, I don't see any visible scars or deformities. Could you put your hands out of the pillow for me, please? Alright. Great. Okay. So, I don't see any splinter hemorrhages on the fingernail. Um, there is no signs of tar staining. And there's no extensor tendon, extensor tendon as a matter. Could you put your hands up with me, please? There are no um, genuinations on his palms or all grazed nose on the fingertips. I'll just check for clubbing now. So I don't see any fluctuance of the nail bed. Down with your fingers, maybe? Okay, so there is no loss of the lava bond angle and there is no curvature of the nail. Okay, and can you copy my movements, please? So put your two hands out like this and bend your fingers and put your two nail buds together. Okay, great. There's no loss of shine wax window and there's no popping present. Thank you. And finally, do you have any pain in your wrist? Nope. So I'll just check your temperature. It's normal temperature. I just don't have a feel of your health, alright? So can you shake my hands? Thank you. Okay, the patient's heart rate is 80 beats per minute and his rest rate is 15 breaths per minute. That's fine. Awesome. I, so I'm just going to check for radio radius today. So you can have a few of both your pulses. So now I'm just going to check for a collapsing pulse, alright? So do you have any pain in your arms? No. no. Okay. I'm going to raise your arms quite briskly. Okay. Okay, so I don't feel a lot of hammer pulse. Um, so ideally I would also check his blood pressure. And I will put this pin out of the back of your neck to check for a JVP. Okay, let's go left. I'm looking between the two heads of the sternocleidomastoid. And the count of breaches JVP. Is there any pain in your stomach? No. Okay, I'm going to press sharply. No platter jugular reflex. Can you lower your eyelids for me, please? Uh, there's no corneal artifice either or uh, gum plasma. Can you open your mouth for me, please? And lift your tongue through from your mouth. Okay, and there's no central cyanosis and dentition at the Um, that's fine, thank you. So, we'll do a closer inspection of the chest now. So, I don't see any uh, signs of midline sternotomy scar. And can you raise your arms for me, please? There's no lateral coracotomy scars. That's fine, thank you. And there's no signs of any impact of lysis. And there's no chest wall deformities or any visible pulsations. I'm going to just feel for your um, apex feet, okay? I'll feel for your angle of gluey in the second intercostal space. Great. So apex feet is not displaced, it's in the mid-clavicular line and the fifth intercostal space. And now I'm just going to have a feel for parasternal heaves. Okay, so there are no parasternal heaves. Okay, so there are no thrills present. I'm just going to have a listen now.
cover this again with the bow loop. And when I put the stethoscope to your neck, can you stop breathing for five seconds, okay? Alright. Okay, that's fine. And when you're ready, we can do the other side, alright? Okay. Okay. So, there are no parotid buoys. So for mitral regurgitation, we will listen for irradiation in the axilla. And for mitral stenosis, we will ask the patient to turn to his left side, please. Okay. Can you take a deep breath in and out for me, please? And hold it there. So to make sure we don't miss aortic regurgitation, we'll ask the patient to sit up and lean forward, and we'll listen at herbs point. Can you take a deep breath in and out for me, please? And hold it there. Okay. So now we'll listen to the lung bases for pulmonary edema. When you feel the stethoscope on your back, you take a deep breath in and out through your mouth. Okay. Wow. Okay. Now we'll check for sacral edema. Okay. We'll check for pedal edema. So we're going to hold for five seconds at the medial malleolus. Okay. That concludes our examination. I'll give you your shirt now to get changed. Do you have any questions? Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. We examined Benjamin Chan, a 23-year-old male who came in for a cardiovascular examination. On, ex on inspection, there was no peripheral stigmata of cardiovascular disease. On auscultation, S1 and S2 were present with no added sounds. Um, to conclude, I would do a chest x-ray, ECG, echo, and a peripheral va vascular exam. So now we'll do a carotid examination. So, uh, first of all, we'll inspect for any lumps, swelling, visible pulsations, or scars. So now we'll orient ourselves with the anatomy. Can you look to your left, please? So we see the sternal head of the sternal phytomastoid. We can look straight. And we can see here the thyroid knot and follow the border towards C3. And now we'll see the angle of the mandible here. Here we see the mastoid process and we can follow it one third of the way down, press against the transverse process of the cervical spine and comment on the rate, rhythm and volume.